13 mitigator Ford Fusion. I'd like to thank you for listening to Let's Talk Racing.tv. Speedway, thanks for listening to Let's Talk Racing. I'm Teddy Peter, driver of number 17 Toyota in our NASCAR Camp World Truck Series, and you're listening to Let's Talk Racing. <laughs>
Black Rock Raceway, which is in Salt, they're both in Salt Lake City, but Black Rock now is, a, is Larry Miller Motorsport Park, mm -hmm. the road course, road course out there, and it was a road course then, but it was more for go-karts, so <laughs> racing street stocks was, on that was, was, was quite, quite the ball, I mean, it was, <laughs> you had room, probably comfortably too wide, mm. like, spots if he's lucky, and it was really tight, it was definitely not as big a track as it is now, it was, when they made it Miller Motorsports Park, they changed a lot of stuff, but uh, yeah, that was definitely a ball on the, on the road course and street stock cars, I, I love that, and it was basically uh, started, started putting a lot of my money in that, so that's, that's where I was, was at as far as racing for a while. The, the funny story about that is, is uh, at the time I was probably oh, 18, 20, somewhere in there. I just graduated from high school, so somewhere somewhere after 18, I was working at the, the air, local aircraft factory here in town, and my, my dad kept saying, what are you doing with all your money? Because I wouldn't go out and buy a whole lot of things. And, and uh, with uh, snowmobiles and motorcycles, my dad was really, you know, I'm a waste of money. You're just gonna go out and hurt yourself, which happened commonly. Right. <laughs> and, you're having fun racing all that stuff, but you hurt yourself, and it's just a waste of money to throw your money in, in a hole. Unless you're, you know, a superstar at it and laughing everybody, you ain't gonna be nothing, and you know it ain't gonna take off. And, and he was, so what are you doing with all your money? And I kind of kept the race car stuff a secret from him for a long time. Like my parents didn't know. <laughs> That's amazing, right? I was, I was renting a shop in town. And, and had race cars in there and try to keep that a secret in a small town was pretty tough. <laughs> they, they eventually found out, though. They found out that I was racing race cars. My parents did. My mom's really protective, afraid I'm going to get hurt all the time. So that was, right. how long have you been doing this? You know, I got grilled for a little bit, but they, they, they finally got on board and they support it wholeheartedly now. They, they, they love racing. And they, I think they like the race cars a lot better. They're a little bit more safer than, than snowmobiles and motorcycles. So. <laughs> you got a full cage around you. Absolutely. Well, that's fantastic, Jeremiah. Um, I know you're looking towards the future, and you, we, we actually talked today, by the way, everybody. Uh, uh, we've kind of hooked up with Jeremiah to work on some projects as well, and we're really excited to have you on the show, and you got a great resume, and there's no doubt that you're going you're gonna to do great things in the sport. Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. That's, that's the plan. I mean, I'm I'm, uh, I started my, my racing career as far as stock cars kind of late late in my, you know, later than probably normal most people. I mean, I'm 29 now. In fact, Brad Keselowski, I found out I had a birthday yesterday, and he's already won a Sprint Cup championship, and he's the same age as me. So I'm thinking, man, when I, when I get the Sprint Cup series, I, I got to hit it, hit it full, full run, and, you know, I got to go out <laughs> and do right. all I got while I'm still, still young. <laughs> well, you know, uh, age is just a number, you know, and um, just look at what Paul Newman did. He didn't even get started till he was in his 40s. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, it's, uh, I think people make too much of age these days anyway. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm with you on that for sure. I mean, I know a lot of drivers mm -hmm. that are, you know, not to, not to say they're old, but they, they're they're older Seasons. than me by a, by a good margin that are great drivers. So exactly. You just, exactly. Like I say, just, Mark Martin's an excellent example. I mean, he, he can go out and lay the smack down on a racetrack every Sunday if he wanted. Right. Yeah, right. we're uh, us are we're seasoned drivers. That's what it is. Seasoned drivers. That's right. Yep. Yeah, yeah. There you go. It's, it's, it's right. seasoned and more mature. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know about the mature part. <laughs> yeah, that's that's questionable. Yeah, you, for yeah, sure. Now that you're talking to me, you don't know about the mature part. I got it. Right. <laughs> exactly. I know. I know. I'm, I never stayed that way. Right. <laughs> well, you, yep. Jeremiah, uh, we're looking through your Facebook. So you were born December 31st. Uh, so when did you realize all the partying wasn't for you? <laughs> oh, fairly soon, I'm sure. Right. <laughs> That's what I always tell everybody, though. I said, "Yeah, it's the biggest. I have the biggest birthday party of the year, man." Right. So, <laughs> how close were you to the first? What's that? What, what, what time were you born? I'm just curious. Do I, you know, I really don't know. You really don't know. I don't know for sure. I okay. bet you your mom does. <laughs> yeah, I bet she does. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Cool. Now, I. I know you're working with uh, Carson Racing and Kristen and everybody. What's tell us about this new online magazine you're working on with them? Oh, we have got that. You, you've seen that Car the Carson Racer magazine, which we had up uh, for past two to three years, and uh, we decided to, to to go to what we're calling Carson Extreme mm -hmm. because Carson Racing was was kind of confusing for a lot of people. A lot of people were, you know, because we're trying to promote. Of course, racers. That's that's our that's our number one thing is promoting different racers. But they were picturing us as we're all a race team, 
but we wanted to promote racetracks and all sorts of other stuff, and it's hard to do that when they say, well, you know, it's confused because they're, you're a race team. We can't really, you know, be in, you know, have you promoting us because other race teams might say, well, how come this race team's promoting us? So we decided to change it, the name to Carson Extreme, and it kind of broadens the horizon of mm-hmm. not just racing. Now we're, we're looking more at the extreme extreme sports like bull riding, snowmobiling, uh, you know, like uh, motocross, you know, cause right. more than right. just, more than just stock car racing and racing, but uh, we're still full heartedly in the, in the, in the racing and stock car end of it, but it's, it's expanded more into different stuff so we can promote a lot of different avenues, which will be right. really nice. Mm. And it'll be, be making its uh, debut online here on the, I believe tomorrow, actually, mm-hmm. if I'm correct. Um, and it, it's going to be really awesome. I mean, uh, Kristen does the does the models and all that stuff. Does the marketing, and she's she's really great with it. And of course, Terry and Tanya, all uh, everybody that's involved with Carson Racing just does a really great job of, job of promoting everybody as well as the the online magazine. And uh, yeah, they, it, she's got on the site now. It's just uh, it's under construction. But I believe in the next should be tomorrow. But I might be wrong on the date. But it's going to be up, and it's it's CarsonTheExtreme.com. And uh, it's, yeah, right now I believe she's got a model of the month on there and, and stuff like that. In fact, the model of the month is Molly, and she's with Borsed's car. Mm. And uh, we're directly involved with Borsed a little bit. We do a lot of promotion with Borsed. Of course, he, he's, you know, a, the, one of the investors in K1 Speed Centers, which are the, the karting centers right. that I out of California there. And uh, so we do a lot of, she does a lot of photo shoots and a lot of events there at the K1 Speedways. And so it's really cool. It's cool to be involved with with people like Boris said and Eric Coran and, and guys like that. So it's, it's really an awesome deal. Absolutely, absolutely. A lot of cool stuff going on there. Yeah, for sure, <clears throat> sure. So where you uh, currently reside at right now, since so you're from Wyoming, where are you, uh, where are you living now? I, I'm still living in Afton, Wyoming. Okay, I still, still, still live and reside here uh, with, with my wife and my daughter, but... Uh, I, you know, like as far as racing, I, I, I travel out of here quite often to go to different races. Like mm-hmm. I said, the closest racetrack to me is four hours away. But uh, so I'm still, I'm trying to get into into some late models, which I've been doing a lot of testing in them, uh, a lot of testing at the, in the, what they're called the Rocky Mountain Challenge late models. Right, they're, right. They're a series based based around here in Idaho and Utah. They race primarily tracks at the. Magic Meridian Speedway out in Boise and Rocky Mountain Raceway, and uh, it's really close to me, so that's that's the closest one to me. So that's a that's a good series to get involved in, and I'm trying to get involved in that as well as the the SRL Tour Series, which is which is based out of California, the race in the Southwest states here, and uh, I'm going to try to put together a deal for a S2 car, which is they're going to be uh, their new their new car for this year, which isn't the full fledged late models. They're uh, they're full size, uh, 108 inch two-year chassis stock cars, but they they got a 350 horsepower GM crate motor with them. Right. One sing, uh, they got one single manufacturer is is producing the chassis and with the spec components, so it's really a sweet car to get into because they're re- relatively cheap and everybody's basically when they come to the tracks got the same same deal. I mean, so that's really really mm-hmm. an awesome series. I think it's going to be really competitive. And there's going to be a lot of great, a lot of great racing produced from it because of the way they got it set up. So I'm looking really to get into that. I'm, yeah. I've got some deals going, working with some sponsors, trying to get into that. And hopefully uh, here in March we'll be putting that deal together and doing some races. So that'll be really sweet. That sounds great. That's a great class because it really puts it back into the driver's hands. You know. You yeah, that's exactly. Showcase your talent and, for sure. Yep. Yeah, that's why I, why I really pursued you know the S2 cars because when I first heard about it, I said, man, that's that's really awesome because everybody, you know, got the same equipment basically going to show up at the track and it's the drivers that are going to make the difference. So that's really cool. Right. I mean, there's, there's minor setups you can do to them. There, there'll be some setups, you know, setup stuff, but it's going to be, going to be a really cool series to watch if, if, and drive in. So I'm, I'm really excited about trying to get that deal together. Well, all right. Sounds good. What do you think, Jason? Well, Let's go ahead and let him wrap up and thank his sponsors and everything. And hopefully, we get him back on here again another time. Get some more, drag some more stuff out of you. It's just so hard to talk to you, Jeremiah. <laughs> yeah, that's it'll, right. It'll it's try a... to shut me up, right? <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. Well, I do have one question. You, you ever tried to drive a snowmobile on water? Yes. 
Yes, I water skip snowmobiles. Okay. For sure. Oh, that's great. Hey, uh, we'll come up there and we'll, we'll try that with you. Yeah, there you go. Come on up and we'll, we'll go water skipping snowmobiles across the lake. <laughs> I like that. That's a, that's a, that'll be fun. That'll be great. All right, let's give us some of your sponsors and we'll wrap it up with you. All right, yeah, I'd like to thank, oh gosh, NRA, Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, uh, Aviate Aircraft, of course, my wife and my daughter, mm -hmm. mom and dad, and my grandparents, and all my family members. Of course, everybody at Carson Extreme and Carson Racing, everybody at NTS Motorsports, uh, Tim and James Norman, uh, LA Racing, and the, the guy we got that's designing our new web page, he's Gustavo at Tapia Designs. He's the web designer designing our new web page. So I'd like to thank him as well. And thank all you guys for having me on. It was great talking with you all. Sounds great, buddy. We can't wait to. Right. Uh, guys, appreciate it. Y'all have a good evening. Before you, before, you, before you run off, Jeremiah, why don't, you, why don't you tell these guys a little bit about uh, your friend Chris? Uh, my, friend, my friend Chris. Which... Lafferty. Oh, Chris Lafferty, yeah, yeah. I've done some testing in the, in the well, his Craftsman trucks then with Chris Lafferty down at Hickory Motor Speedway. Right. And uh, had a ball with him. I mean, he's, he's, he's totally awesome. Chris is, he, he's a heck of a good guy. And, uh, I mean, I was kind of where I was making my transition. I, I, like I said, I was racing street stocks on the asphalt, and I was looking to get into the late models, and I was going to actually put some money together and go buy late model equipment from a guy who was gonna he had it on for sale down in Salt Lake area and I see it online. I said, Man, this is too good of a deal. I gotta gotta go buy this and I was gonna go buy it. Gave him a shout and says, Yeah, yeah, and I got the money together and he calls me a couple of days after I got the money or a day after I got the money together actually and says, Hey, I'm not gonna sell it all right now. I'm gonna sell maybe one car and a couple things. I I got a sponsor or so I'm gonna continue to race. Mm. Man, what am I gonna do with this money I got? And you know, I got all this money I got together and so I decided, well maybe I'll see if I can go test it, you know, a late model. So I started looking around and I came up on this, came up on Chris Lafferty. Right, right. Go test right. a, a Camping World truck and I said, man, that's a sweet deal. Basically, it just, you know, for the price, I'm pretty sure I was paying basically fuel and tires and, and maybe, you know, he probably made maybe a hundred bucks if he's lucky. Sure. I know how much the fuel and tires cost. I mean, right. we were there it's all day testing and, and went down to Hickory Motor Speedway with him and we had a ball. I mean, testing the truck and, and uh, driver drove around in a street stock car too. We had we had that out there as well. I mean, we were having a ball both, both me and him, and and went down there with him a couple other times and enjoyed enjoy Chris and and all the stuff that he does because it's a, a great program he's got running down there at a yeah. Concord area. So right. it's, it's it's a great deal. Awesome. All right. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and let you go now. We got our other guest finally called in. So. <laughs> all righty. Well, thanks guys. Thanks for having me on, and we'll hopefully talk to y'all again soon. And. Can't wait for Daytona. Absolutely. All right, sounds Absolutely. good. Just push All right, y'all have a good one. Bye now. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. Thanks. Just push line two. Let's talk racing. Hello, this is Danny. Hey, Danny, what's going on? Nothing. How you guys doing? Oh, we're hanging in there. Right. <laughs> yeah, you got me, Roger, you got Jason, and you got Terry all in here at the same time talking with you. Sweet. Hi, guys. How you guys doing? How was we're I, I, I still ain't figured out how come you didn't get the notice on the thing, but we'll have to look into that later. Uh, I, I didn't. I didn't. I don't think I got anything, but I have. I don't have the most up-to-date computers <laughs> or systems in the world. So. Well, you got to get Roger on that. Roger's the computer whiz around here, for sure. So, what's going on with you? Tell us a little bit about what, who you are, where you came from, what you're looking to do. Um, I'm I'm a slingshot driver in Hamlin Seaway, and uh, I race like the nationals and stuff in the sort of the slingshot by the by series. And um, I recently, guys had Hunter Smith on here. Mm -hmm. We're um, I I race at the same weekly track as him as this past year at Hamlin, and I I actually I test drove a 600 bike sprint like midway through the season, and I wrecked it sadly. Mm -hmm. And I hurt my fingers really badly, so I wasn't able to run the, for the last half of the season. But I, I was leading the points up until then at Hamlin, and um, we were we were doing pretty good. I was proud of me and my dad's accomplishments. Cool. Racing. You look like you got one heck of a racing family here. Everybody seems to be racing in your family. I see a lot. Of, well, this may be just where you call people brothers on Facebook. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah that's th those are my good stuff. But um, the only person that's ever raced my family was my dad. He used to race 600 modifieds like when they first started and stuff, and he did he did pretty good. And but I I don't really know how he got out of it. I never really asked him about that. But um, when I, when I was like eight years old or seven years old or something, and, I, and for my birthday he asked me if I wanted a quad or a go kart, and I told I, I told him that I wanted a go kart, and he we eventually got a champ kart and like went to Hamlin and watched a couple of races and stuff. And towards the end of the season, like towards the end of August and stuff, we started racing and you know I, I got I got really into it and it was you know it, it carried on from there. Good deal. Mm -hmm. So where's some future goals for you? Um, I'm I'm an open wheel man. I, I like any, I mean anything with four wheels. But sprint cars. <laughs> sprint cars. Sprint cars are sprint cars, midgets and stuff. Like you, you gotta be crazy to drive those. I'm, I'm, I got a couple of screws <laughs> in my thing. Uh, Terry, Terry's driven those before. She's got a few wins out there, quite a few. <laughs> so you got a nickname yet? Um, Steve Pedos, the Hamlin announcer, calls me the Rockaway Rocket, and we've kind of embraced that. I like that. That's cool. You gotta get some T-shirts made up with that on there, buddy. Yes, Vogel Designs is the place to get those. They're good. Yeah. So hey, I'll go ahead. Well, just looking at, uh, at your Facebook page, and uh, your flame helmet is way cool. Give us a little bit of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. My uncle, my uncle got that for me for my, um, for my birthday present, and uh, it's, it's the sickest helmet ever. It's a guy that just, he, he, he like, I, I guess he had, like, a, a long time for, like, a couple of years or whatever, and uh -huh. he, he just drew that whole entire time. He, he, I guess he got like laid off in his job or whatever, and he, he just drew it the whole entire time, and he, he became like this incredible artist, and he just started doing like motorcycles and stuff. Right. And he, I, my uncle knew him like personally. He asked him to do the helmet, and it turned out like that. And it, that is the coolest. That that's wicked looking. That's it's a great helmet. Cool. Absolutely. I'll keep that forever. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. What's with that Randy with a circle and an X through it? Does that have a meaning? Oh, <laughs> um, I, on Wednesdays for SS Speedways, I, I, I throw my, my dad and myself own, own a 43 orange car that you see on there. Right. Uh -huh. And, um, but on, on Wednesdays we drive for SS and Speedways, and I drive the 55 car, and that, that's just a joke with the owner of SS and Speedways, Randy Smith, and stuff. So. Ah, oh, I got you. So how do you pronounce that last name? I need to know. <laughs> Bucka Fusca. Yeah, it's a, it's, That's a new one. Yeah, that is, it's, it's not a popular race car driver name. Well, once you come into the big times, we'll see it all over the internet and all that. I hope so. I really do. <laughs> Get out of my way because I'm a Bucka Fusca. <laughs> okay. That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> well, see, that could be a nice little trademark for you, though. That'd be a, a talking point. People be asking about your name. You get to tell them what's going yeah, on. I'm, I'm starting trends with that name. Yeah, I think it's cool. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, the season's coming up. Uh, you got all your got your team and your cars all lined up for the season. We just got we got to do a couple things and we're ready. But we're planning on doing the same schedule we did last year with the national points and Hamlin and good sound on days and stuff. That's that's we're gonna go follow the slingshot series and see what comes up. Cool beans. So what size motors are in those slingshots? Um. Uh -oh. Oops, he's cutting out. They're like lawnmower motors. That they're just like, and they're sealed. Right. You're not allowed to go into them. They're using another series. It's like a by the by, it's the bandoleros. It's the same motors. Right. Something like a bandolero motor? Right. We have different motor rules as them, but it varies. Sounds cool, baby. Absolutely. Your we phone is um. Hamlin, Hamlin is a one fifth of a mile, and uh, we we average like fifty to fifty two miles an hour on there. Uh -huh. That's great. Are yeah, you talking on a cell phone by any chance? What? Are you on a cell phone? No, I'm not on my cell phone. I was just wondering because your the phone seems to be kicking in and out, so I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm hearing the that too. Huh. We didn't do it. <laughs> That's right. We didn't do it. <laughs> we're, we're talking landline, so we can't be having that. That's right. 
That's right. Well, it yeah. sounds all very exciting. Well, you know, we're going to be rooting for you. That's for sure, because you, um, Thank you. you got a lot going on there. and So, um... um next, next season, I'm, prom I'm actually promoting a race. It's, it's like, mm -hmm. I'm only 13 years old, and I'm, I'm like one of the youngest drivers. I, I was actually the youngest driver to win a all-star slingshot race up until this past year. And, um... I'm, I took on the promotion of a race at Lanco, mm -hmm. and um, I'm trying to organize that and promote that as much as possible because I don't want to see a lot of people there. So it's going to be a national race, 40 laps. Um, right now, I'd say with the sponsors, and there's nobody for sure yet, but um, it, it'd probably be 600 plus to win, and that, that's a good payout for our mm. series. Awesome stuff. Now look, we're we're looking at your Facebook page, and there's a lot of girls on there. So are, are these girls your groupies? No, mm -hmm. um, I'm I'm not <laughs> what you would call a player. But right. um, I, I try to stay away from that the, the template generation of managers as much as possible. Right. Right. So, so who's this Jenna? <laughs> Who's this Jenna Weedner? What, what was that? Uh, notice in one of the pictures here with a girl named Jenna Weedner. You want you want to hang up and try calling back in real quick? Yeah, we're losing him. Go ahead and hang up and call back in real quick. Yeah, his phone was cutting out. Um, do we have somebody else on the line, Raj? No. No? Me, I pushed the button wrong yeah. way. No, he's not a player. Look at that. No, he's not a player. He's a full-time player is what it looks like to me. <laughs> <laughs> unless, like, unless she's a driver. She looks, like, she a looks driver. like she may be. Absolutely. What Easy way to find out. One of his line two that's acting up. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's a little. Uh, micro modified midget. Yeah. With a little two stroke on it. Cool. So, uh, what you been up to, bud? How you been? Not a whole lot. Yeah. Just hanging in there. Yeah. Work. Work. Family. Family. I hear ya. Got approved for a home loan, so. Hey, that's great. Mm -hmm. That's great. Did uh, is that that is that when you got your haircut? Mm. The haircut happened. It was it was one of the. It's a long story. I tried to cut it myself. Yeah. And I left a big patch on the back of my head. Right. And somebody helped me correct that. So. Okay. All right. So they had to cut it shorter. That's okay, though. But my head fits in my helmet better. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I have to get a half a size bigger to put my get all my hair in, inside yeah. my helmet. So That's uh. okay. <sighs> well, what we got going on there, Raj? Calling him back. Okay. <laughs> For a whole whopping two minutes because we got the uh, other guy calling up your door. Right. Oh, so the latest and greatest news in NASCAR is... Danica. Danica? Not so much. Yeah, we got the shootout this week, right? Oh, no. Is it the shootout this weekend? I think so. Or Sprint Unlimited, excuse Sprint me. Sprint Unlimited. I think that puppy's coming right up. Uh, the ARCA race, is, is the ARCA race Saturday or Sunday? I think it's Saturday yeah. before the Sprint Unlimited. Right. How much you want to keep on calling it the Bud Shootout? Yeah, for sure. Or Bush Clash or whatever you want to call it. So... Brad Keselowski, they've moved over to the Ford. Mm -hmm. I know they're going to be fast. Um, how do you see it? Who do you see stepping up to the forefront with the new Gen 6? Petty Motorsports. Yeah, maybe. That'd be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. It'd be kind of cool to see. Absolutely. Um, Matt Kenseth is going to be strong. I think so, too. I think so. I think he's, was he, he's with Gibbs, right? Yeah. He's with, with Gibbs. Yeah. 
and Logano moved over there to be teammates with with Brad. Uh, with Tony Stewart. Tony, Tony's trying to get you there. He ain't watching it. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> No, I just finished hey, fixing that him. Firewood, wouldn't it? That would. Yeah. I got, I got a I got a couple of pistols at the house. We can take care of that. Right. Right. <laughs> Wrong answer. Survey, Wrong answer. survey says. Well, I'm looking forward to the season. This is going to kick it off. You know, the chili bowl kind of get everything rolling, and mm -hmm. the 24 hours of Daytona, and now Speed Weeks kicks in. So it's going to be a big. It's going to be a big year. This will be curious as to who's actually coming. Right. Let's talk racing. All right, you're gonna try. You're gonna try again, huh? I guess we got him. Um, okay, yeah, back on the phone. Better. Hang on a second. Let me switch over. Great. Okay, go for line one. All right, kick Push him line, line one, speaker. Line Push one. line one, then speaker. Danny, you back? Yes, I'm. I'm back. The phone and internet combination. Right. Right. You sound a lot better. Absolutely. Thank you. you sound like a winning race car driver. For sure. <laughs> yeah, hey. You guys sound like winning. Interviewers too. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Hey, we we want to clear something up here because we think you're um, you're pulling our leg a little bit about not being a, a player with all the girls because you got a lot of chicks hanging out with you, buddy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, I I truly don't take a true care to a lot of them in any <laughs> other way more than friends. Right. But. Who's this Jenna Weedner? Yeah, who is this? Who is this girl? Uh, Jenna Widener. Uh, Widener. Yeah, that, that was that was um, a, an inside joke type of thing to try. It, it was a plan. That's why I she was in my profile picture. Oh, okay. Cool. Does she race also? She does race. She races uh, rookie two seventy in Hamlin, and she's she actually the week that I wrecked, she won, and the week after, uh, the, like after my injury, I came back. So that Saturday, she won. So. See, that's great. Well, you better watch it. We might have her on the show and let her tell us all about you that you haven't told us. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll get her on here. I'll, I'll hit her up. Right on. <laughs> well, we just wanted to get you back on so we could close it out properly, and we're really looking, we're really pulling for you for the season. We want you to go out there and win and, and do great. And you guys are giving me luck. That's right. Yes. Absolutely. Got Good the list, karma. The Good. Let's Talk Racing Luck. Who are you pulling for in the Sprint Cup? Anybody in particular? Um, I I I follow NASCAR, but in, in to a less severity than I follow any other like right. Zach or whatever. But um, I I like Tony Stewart or Casey Kane. Okay. Okay. The ones came from Open Wheels. Open Open Wheel Brian Clawson, Brian Clawson and Kyle Larson. I okay. I'm, I like Dave Darlin too. Levi yeah. Jones, you know, um, AJ Foyt. Right. Well, anymore, but. <laughs> well, if he was still racing, he'd probably win a lot more races. Yeah, he would. He was one of the best. Steve Kinzer. Yeah. Cool beans. Well, all righty. We just want to get you back on, and if you want to thank your sponsors one more time, let everybody know what's going on. We'd be. Yeah, I, I just I got to thank uh, SNS for everything. Bruce's Speed Shop. Um, everybody that's that's. Just saying that they're going to go to the Lanco race and sponsor it, I'm grateful for that. And right. my family and my dad in particular for racing and my mom and, and my mom's boyfriend for support. And um, just everybody that helps it and keeps it going and helps me do what I do every weekend. Awesome. People that I'm grateful for. All right. Anything All right. Else you want to add, Rod? No. We'll going to talk to him later on. All right. All right, see you guys. Thank you. I'll, I'll talk to Jenna. She'll be on here soon, I promise. All right. All right. Sounds great. Thanks a lot. See you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Cool beans. Good kid. Yeah, he's a good kid. He's going to be fine, and he's he's going to do well with the media. Yeah. Um, he's got a good he's, nickname. He's got a good last name. I know. Name. He does, <laughs> for sure. Well, getting back to what we was talking about, Daytona Speed Week's kicking off. You know, it's, it's going to be really interesting when they get out there and they get to get hammered down and they start their drafting. Mm -hmm. Because these cars do not line up. Not at all. And it's going, to be, it's going to be really interesting on how much patience and foresight these guys have because you just can't wad those things up. Mm -hmm. They just are, It's just not going to be something that's going to go over well when they start 
the bump drafting on that back straightaway in a pack. So. So is Stenhouse going to run into Patrick or Patrick going to run into Stenhouse? I think the latter. <laughs> That'd be an argument for the house. I know. I think they'll probably stay as far away from each other as they can. It'll be interesting at Daytona because she'll probably be pretty fast down there. Her car oh, yeah. will be fast. Uh, you know, when you get to the other racetracks, I think that's where, you know, it'll separate. Skill. Um, yeah. Yeah. And experience. Yeah, Danny. So anyway, I think I think Danica will probably qualify well if nothing goes wrong, and um, and probably run pretty well down there, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, what am I looking for? Okay, well I just texted you one, so but hang on a second, we'll just put you on. Cool right. Hold on Rogers, a second, switch over. Yeah, he's over there. Okay. What's the latest gossip too? What's going on in the garage area that we need to know about? Uh, Root Smith might buy the. Uh, Carolina Panthers. Wow. That's fun. That's interesting. NASCAR unveils a new track drying technology, so Juan Pablo will run into it. No. <laughs> That's it. Go ahead and get Danny Pollock on the line there. Line one. Let's talk racing. You there, Danny? Yeah. Hey, what's going on? Not much. Not much? You got Jason Langley and Terry O'Connell, as well as myself, uh, Sitting here talking with you tonight. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing okay. Great. Ready for the new season? Huh? Ready for the new season? Yeah. Yeah. That's the plan. Right on. When does it kick off up there? Um, about the middle of April. Right. Usually the first couple of weeks. Cool beans. Hey, uh, why don't you give our audience a little uh, overview of who you are, what you got going on, and the whole Danny Pollock story. Well, I uh, was in an accident back in 2001 and got paralyzed from my chest down, and now um, I got back racing uh, in mid-season 2003 uh, in a sprint car. We built pain controls. Wow. wow. So, yeah, That's great. I'm, uh, I've done some USAC sprint car racing. I've done some all-star wing racing. Uh, right, so, right. Yeah. Cool beans. So, who are you based out of? I'm a, I'm a Greencastle, Indiana. Right, right. I'm normally on a local, just a local deal right now. It's a, lo a low-budget deal when... Uh, so I run a, a link of Park Speedway. Mm -hmm. Is that that's Putnamville? Yep. Yep, I've raced there years ago. Years ago. Yeah. Uh, I got a good friend up there. His name is Steve Thomas. He's the bell, the bell dude. Uh, okay, you know, I raced with him. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. Absolutely. So, mm -hmm. um, season's coming up in April. That'll be the weather. Be getting just about right to get going and we're see I'm, we're looking at your uh, web page there and we see you doing a wheelie which is really cool and uh, so what kind of car count do they normally have up there do what now what, what kind of car count do you guys usually have oh it varies um, there's so many tracks that run on the same night uh -huh. Two tracks that run on Friday night, and then we got like three tracks, that are three or four tracks that run on Saturday. We, we'll, we'll pull in probably anywhere from, or, we'll just average about 30, 30 cars, something like that. And cool. For, and <clears throat> same for all the other tracks around. Right, right, absolutely. So, uh, how can some of these uh, fans get in touch with you, like through social media and stuff? Um, you can always get a hold of me on uh, uh, Facebook. Uh -huh. uh, uh, on Facebook is uh, Danny Pollock Twenty Four, and uh, you can always uh, follow me on Twitter at Danny Pollock Twenty Four on Twitter. Okay. And. And then also, maybe you can kind of 
see uh, some of my uh, background info and stuff from the years past on uh, my website because it's outdated. But uh, it's at dannypollock.com. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can also watch uh, my YouTube videos. Uh, if you go onto YouTube and search Danny Pollock, D O T C O M, just uh, uh, write it out the, um, the dot com part. Try it out, and it'll protect you to my YouTube videos. Cool yeah. things. Hey, uh, Danny, you know, we're just all kind of here really curious on uh, the, uh, we really admire you for what you do, and kind of curious on the engineering aspect of how your hand controls work and how y'all how made the uh, technology work on, on the steering wheel, because that could not have been an easy task. Uh, it wasn't very, no, it wasn't very easy at all. Uh, it actually took uh, a lot of trial and error. Um, it took a long time. We ended up using a, an Odyssey steering wheel mm -hmm. and converting it in mul multiple times to get the biggest problem was trying to get the brakes to work. Right. And uh, so we went through a lot of trial and error and crashes and all that good stuff. and. Finally, we figured it out, and it's, it's great. It's great now. But, uh, there, was, there was nobody else that, that had done it before me, so there was nobody to get any help from. Sure, right, and, sure. But uh, I have searched all across the country and talked to all the big people that, in the industry and stuff, but, and there's just, there was just nobody was out there doing it, so it was trial and error, and... Right. Finally, finally, we got it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I'm looking at your website. You got a foundation set up? Yeah. The, the, yeah, Danny Pollock, uh, uh, Racing re Recovery. Uh huh. And, uh, yeah, there's a donation thing on there if you, anybody wants to make a donation. Uh huh. Um, That's great. That's great. So, I know you, it seems to me like you've been a racing fan all your life. And uh, you, you got to have some heroes that kind of inspired you. Kind of give us a little bit of a background who who your your racing heroes might be. Well, uh, AJ Foyt's always been a big hero of mine. And uh, then, uh, like, Richard Petty and stuff, you know, guys like that. And then, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm always like uh, Jeff Gordon and Tony Stewart. But, uh, uh, and then, actually, my biggest hero is actually Sam Schmidt for, right. every, you know, everything he does. Right. And he's a quadriplegic, and he's, you know, running his own IndyCar teams and doing all that. So it's, it's pretty amazing right there. Right, right. Yeah, Sam is a very is very inspirational, absolutely for sure. Hey, uh, what about this lawnmower with a midget body on it? Do you want that? Well, is that is that his Facebook page? No, it's Jeffrey. Yeah. All right, well, Roger's messing with us there. No, it's on. They they tagged Danny in the picture. There's oh. a there's a, a lawnmower that looks like a, a little sp sprint car, midget or whatever it is. Midget. It's pretty funny. Friend of yours, Jeffrey Young. What's that? Oops. We were scanning some of the pictures on your Facebook page, and Jeffrey Young put a picture on there and tagged you in it. And it looks like a, a midget car that uh, was built out of a lawnmower. Oh, huh. I'm not, I can't remember that picture. Yeah. We're gonna have to, you have to go look at your own Facebook page. That's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of them here. Yeah. Cool beans. So, you got any sponsors that uh, come on board with you for the season? Or got some uh, personal help to help you get the car on the racetrack? Uh, not, not really for this season. I don't have any help. Uh, yeah. So, kind of. Try to find it right now. So, right. If anybody wants to get it, 
get involved and definitely get a lot of exposure. Absolutely. Absolutely. So well, how many different tracks have you ran at? Uh, I've ran all over the state. Um, pretty much, uh, you know, Gas City, Bloomington, uh, Terre Haute, North Bern, Bloomington out of I shoot I've I've ran most of most all of them there again. Right. Yeah. Right. Do you have a favorite out of them or I like Putnam Bill, my favorite track pretty much. Um but uh, you know, I've only ran at Terre Haute one time and that was with the the All Stars and that was my first time ever with the wing. Right. Mm-hmm. That was that was a pretty pretty awesome race. Cool beans. We see that that the your car number is number twenty four. Is that because of Jeff Gordon, or is there another significance to it? Um. Well, yeah. That was actually the first my first actual go kart that was mine. That's the actual number that was actually on it when I bought it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I. I just so happened to like Jeff Gordon, so I just left it. It's cool. Where it went. So who who helps out with your race car? You got family involved, or all your crew dudes? Just my brother and um, my cousin and my sister, and just whoever whoever has the opportunity to pitch in, and stuff. whoever's not busy. Right, right. Well, you know, yeah. motorsports is, is is clearly a family-oriented sport. People, you know, all of our families have always been so inspirational and helpful in our in our own race teams. And we were just looking at your Facebook page with like, all of your family helping. We know that's really cool for all you guys to load up and and go to the racetrack on the, on the weekends. Mm-hmm. Cool beans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It takes a lot to do it. Oh, yeah. One thing for sure. Right. A lot. Absolutely. Well, did you see the pic- my picture on Facebook where I, where I raced uh, four months after my accident in a go-kart? Uh, we're surfing forth. through there. Um, Roger's kind of in charge of that. But uh, give us a little history on, on what that was like. I had actually had this experimental device put in my back and I uh, wasn't supposed to do a whole lot, but I did, I had been going to all the racetracks every weekend. There was no race, no racing during Brickyard weekend. So I was like, you know, I still had my go car. I was like, you know, I want to go racing. There ain't no racing to watch. So I, the night before the race, I just decided to go to Walmart. And I just went through Walmart figuring out what can I use to make the throttle work. Right. The throttle right. cable. And I was, finally I found one of those push motor throttle cables, that, the rabbit and the turtle. And so I just took that and I mounted, I drilled a hole in the steering wheel, mounted that on there and hooked the throttle up and got that working and rigged up a, a, a bar for the brake. And, and I was like, okay, like, there we go. It'll, it works. So well, right. I never I never even got in or anything. Went went out to the racetrack and then uh, they get, let me run a couple, you know, warm up laps before we had our everybody else go on the track and then went out and raced throughout the night and I ended up finishing fourth. First time yeah. with pain control. Oh, that's cool. That's amazing. That's really amazing. Just four, four months after getting hurt, that was pretty cool. But yeah. that, that accident didn't happen in a race car, did it? Uh, no, it was a four-wheeler. It was a four-wheeler? Yeah. yeah. Hey, those oh. things are dangerous, man. Yep. Yeah. They sure are. You, you see, it's just better to stay in a race car than on a four-wheeler. Yeah, it's a lot safer when you got bars around you. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Well, what would you tell some... Um, like some paralyzed kids or something like that, if like looking to get into racing, would would you ever like? What would you tell them? Tell them what was that? I mean, I mean like 
like kids that have paralysis, like if they want to get into racing, is there some way they can get in or? Yeah, I, I've helped out uh, anybody who has any interest in it, and uh, I've helped actually quite a few people with hand controls uh, um, to get them going in the right direction and stuff with designs and stuff. That way they don't have to go through all the obstacles and all the trial and error stuff that I went through. So, yeah, I, I help out uh, anybody that needs any advice. Yeah, have you uh, have you ever thought about maybe starting maybe a kind of a driving school or or some type of program to, to where kids or people who have had these types of injuries can come and be trained and you can help them find a better path? <laughs> yeah, it's possible. You never. Yeah. Never know. Have you have you ever thought? About, I mean, is your steering wheel was it patented by somebody else or is it something you made by yourself? Well, it was a bunch of different people. Really, to be honest, uh, with each and every type of racing and car and stuff, there's always something that you could do to change what you designed and everything just a little bit so the pitch not really worth patenting. Mm -hmm. So, but, you know, each, each different race car, you would need something just a little bit different. Right. And, Right. This isn't even this system here isn't even perfected as it is now. So, but uh, it it gets it's getting by. So, well, it must be getting by pretty good. You guys must have really. Um... Yeah, yeah, it's not not too bad. It's as good as I can get it for right now. Sure, absolutely. Everything is a process. You know, everything has an evolution to it from an engineering standpoint. So. You guys would make it better and better and better. And so, um, when are you going to take your first win out there? I don't know. That's what I've, I've been waiting for. This season for sure. This season for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you have an amazing story. It's uh, it's a story that that people need to know and and um, and support you with and. We could not be pulling for you more than we than anybody else. Uh, we, we're really impressed with your commitment and and, and your courage. And um, it's quite amazing what passion will do. And if you want to do something, then you can do it if you just try hard enough. That's right. That's right. Just, just hopefully, you can find those dollars that way I can get down the road so I can hit these racetracks. Right. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, every time you go to the racetrack, you're basically making history. And um, I think it'd be really cool for somebody like People Magazine or uh, one of the news programs like 2020 to come in and, and do a story on you. I think it could be really inspiring to millions of people around the world. Well, I'm known around the world. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. I was up at Kelly's Pub in Indianapolis doing racing with Dio's radio show one night. I was just sitting there watching the show, and some guy walks up to me and says, Hi, Danny, it's nice to meet you. And, and he goes, You're a legend down under. And I was like, What? <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was like, What are you talking about? And he goes, Man, everybody down there in New Zealand and, and Australia, we all, we all know, everybody knows about you. And I was like, Really? That's great. That's great. Wow. That's Absolutely. Yeah, I, I drove for a couple of Australians last year. They're they're cool people. They they are all right. Yeah, they're really yeah. they're really cool. Yeah. yeah, when they come up here, they're full blown racers in every way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Raj, what do you think? Well, I I think he needs to keep that story going. Yeah. I mean, inspiration is inspiration, and. Mm. Who knows? Never, never know who the next person is going to pick up on your story and get you out there. Sponsor um, you. Yeah. Who knows? Some of the people we know at Speed Channel might be able to shoot yeah. something down that way, and yeah. might you might have a visit one day from who knows who. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Rather see Tony Stewart other than Jeff Gordon going to see you, though. You know. Oh, uh, I don't know. 
we fuss on it. We fuss about that around here. And who's the best, Tony or, or Jeff? Now, with your with your racing career so far, I don't want to make this sound bad, but a lot of drivers have embarrassing moments. Mm-hmm. What do you feel yours has been? Embarrassing moment during uh, your ra- during your racing. I well, I had one embar- I guess this would be embarrassing moment. It's my first time ever in a sprint car at Bloomington, and for people that don't know nothing about anything about Bloomington, it's a really high bank track, so mm-hmm. you have to have a lot of stagger and. Brick cars are not made to turn right. <laughs> so, we're, I'm a, so it's my first time at Bloomington. I'm pulling in to pulling to the pit, and I turn the wheel all the way to the right, and the car keeps going, um, starts to go to the right, and then all of a sudden it starts to go straight, and I'm heading straight for the the lineup shoot where they have the board where the where everybody's going to start in the lineup shoot, and I, it, I couldn't turn the wheel any farther because I've um, got hand controls in there in a fixed position, and I, I'm just sitting here trying to get it to pop out of gear, would pop out of gear, and then finally I was able to kill it. But, but by the time I killed it, I killed. I also killed the 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 tower that was that had the pit board up there, and uh, actually ran into it, it just barely missed. Uh, wiping my buddy out. He was thinking over there looking to see where he was starting at, but yeah, mm-hmm. that one, that was, that was a pretty wild one and kind of embarrassing, but you know, like the first time de- dealing with it and you know, it was that, that stuff happens fast when you're inside a race car. And right, right. I get, try well. to get it shut off, get the fuel shut off. It's a kill switch. <laughs> well, I can. I definitely can feel for you. I've I've done airborne myself over top of another car, so I know the the oh shit feeling. <laughs> yeah, you know. So I've been sitting here thinking about that. The only redeeming uh, quality about all that is that thank God it wasn't the bathroom that you had. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh, holy that would be really <laughs> shitty. <laughs> yeah, I got everywhere. Huh? Uh, yeah. yeah. Talking about shit hitting the fan, oh my god. Yeah, shit hitting the sprint car. Yeah. <laughs> we can say that. This is a uh, internet show, so we can... We get away with all that we crap. We can say that kind of stuff. <laughs> well, you know, those kind of things happen, and you, and you were doing something mm-hmm. experimental, and you knew, and you and the next time you went out, you guys had a better control of it, so yeah. it was a learning experience. I, I never had a problem making that right-hand turn anymore. I just <laughs> That's to, right. Uh, nowhere to, make, <laughs> to start to turn, how fast to be going... And it's it's just different. <laughs> right. Well, I was, I was going to say my, my most embarrassing moment was when I flipped at Paragon and went in over in six times, but that kind of really wasn't my fault, so I can't be embarrassed about that. Right. I, but, but at that time, there was a bit, it was the beginning of the race, and there was a great big car pile up right at the, front, the front of the pack, and I'm starting at the tail. And, it, and I got a choice between hit, hitting the concrete wall or hitting John Stambro back mm-hmm. to the hill tank. So I hit the, I chose it, and that's what sent me in over in six times. Ooh. But, but after that, I decided we decided that we got to get these brakes figured out a little bit better. Absolutely. Ooh. Well, you survived it. Yeah. And uh, that's what counts. And live to race another day and that's part of the story you know our racing is not right that's cool it's not playing tennis that's for sure it's not god's pocket that's for sure so we just have to deal with the dangers embrace them and keep on trucking for sure absolutely well all right we've had a great talk with you if you want to thank your sponsors or anybody else just go ahead and let it fly well, I'd like to thank uh, Sam Schmidt uh, Motorsports for their, their help and Rick Wong and Speedway Engines on Gasoline Alley, uh, Dynamite Race Cars, uh, Indy Race Parts, 
you well for the upcoming season and we're going to stay in touch with you and is there anything we can do to help you push your story around we're willing to help you do it we're so inspired by who you are what you stand for what you're trying to do and so we consider you part of the let's talk racing family now and we're going to watch you baby well my goal for the se this season is i'd like to hit a couple of world outlaw races so somewhere here in Indiana or, or close close by here, but maybe Eldora or something. That's, that's the plan. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So. Cool beans. We're all rooting for you. All right. All right. All right. Well, it's been great having you on, and best of luck for the season. All right. I appreciate it. All righty. Thanks a lot. Have a good night. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. That's a great story, and mm -hmm. really, you know, he's he's weathered the storm pretty well. And, uh, back from I want to like see, that. I, yeah, I'd like to see him stick with I'd like him to find some backing of some sort where he can step it up for sure. Trying to somebody else that had hand controls was back in the day. A guy named what was it, Evan Evans, yeah, who raced, raced uh, off road trucks. Walker Evans' son. He had more of a uh, like a motorcycle right. type throttle. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, all right. We'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. We've had a great night tonight. Yes, Rod, we have. Would like to add anything to that? Spread oh. Unlimited this weekend. Do what? Spread Unlimited this weekend. There you go. Unlimited. We got the racing starting to roll. Arca. Mm. Arca. Uh, qualifying. Uh, Al Pierce is out in the field. <laughs> you go, Al. Al, we miss you. <laughs> Not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, it, it'll be it'll be nice. Uh, Terry's also going to have be uh, featured as the female race car driver, also in the magazine, mm -hmm. the uh, Carson Extreme, or right. is it Extreme Carson or Carson Extreme? Carson Extreme. Carson, Carson Extreme. So she's going to be the, the right. female driver in there. I got some cool stuff coming up too. Maybe with a major network for a documentary. We can't. Say oh, I can't about. tell yet. Oh can't man. Tell yet. So that's going to be fun to do and. Blah, blah, blah. So. It's all about me. Sports and more sports, That's as right. long as it's a racing sport. That's right. Yes. That's right. You can't spell motorsports without sport. No. That's right. You cannot. Or motor. Or motor. <laughs> <laughs> right. From, from, we've had guys that have called in from uh, racing lawnmowers mm -hmm. to uh, trying to beat speed records. Uh, That's right. Valerie Thompson. That's right. Hmm. And on right. land speed records, uh, motorcycles, and everything else. Yeah. Uh, Bob Sled Buddies, Jeff Bodine, right. had him call in. Jeffrey. Yeah. That's right, he's Jeff. Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Jeffrey Bodine. All right. All right. This Everybody, have up. a good week. We'll see you next week on Wednesday again. Well, I'll be on time. Let's talk racing. <laughs> and you're going to be on time. Yeah, I'll be on time. Hot damn. <laughs> Can't beat that. I better get to the right page before I do all this stuff. <laughs> Uh -huh. All right, everybody, we'll see y'all later. Ciao. Q. Hey, guys, I'm Daytona 500 winner Trevor Bain, and thank you for watching Let's Talk Races. Hi, I'm Robert Richardson, Jr., driver of the number 23 Dodge Challenger for R3 Motorsports in the NASCAR Nationwide Series, and you're watching Let's Talk Racing.
I'm Teddy Peters, driver of the number 17 Toyota in our NASCAR Camp World Truck Series, and you're listening to Let's Talk Racing. <laughs> driver of the 33 NASCAR late model 2011 Old Dominion Speedway track champion thank you for watching Let's Talk Racing TV I'm Sam Hunt driving 42 car on the thing Let's Talk Racing Hi my name is Natalie Sather I drive the 94 K&N Lady Eagle Safety Wear Butler Built Seats Bell Helmets Hooker Harness Seat Belts Number 94 at South Boston Speedway Be sure to listen to Let's Talk Racing